how to add team members to square hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i am going to show you how you can add team members to the square platform it is very easy and simple to do all you have to do as always follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go now we are on the square up dashboard this is my square up dashboard a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as profiles, uh, team members, uh, email addresses are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now, let's proceed to the real deal, which is adding a team member. Here on this sidebar or the left sidebar here, we are going to scroll down until we see staff and payroll. I will click on staff and payroll. And as you can see here, we have shifts, team, Payroll, Team Communication, HR, and Compliance. I'm going to click on Team. Here on Team section, we are going to see the team members that we have on the Square Up. Here, I have no one assigned or no one added to the team members. I am going to click on Add Team Member, like this with this plus sign. Here, I'm going to create the profile for the member. Here, this is the preferred name, the last name, phone number, email, and a team member ID. I'm going to set up right here. This is the phone number, for example, 555-555-5555. And this. Here, this is the uh, email address that I have. I'm going just to change the format. This is a uh, email address that is created for the sake of the video. Here, the uh, preferred name, the last name, the team member ID, I'm going to put it double or triple zero one, for example, click on next. Here we have this invalid phone number. I am going to put, for example, a phone number, then I will be good to go. I will put a fake phone number, for example, like that. Here we have it, and this is a phone number. Uh, jobs here manage Jack's role and compensation the primary job of Jack's what is it I'm going to put the or create a new job for example let's add a job title let's put it for example as um, Jack is a manager let's go and put or type manager Tip eligible, you can put the team member with this job or eligible to earn tips. It is up to you or you can uh, enable or disable this option. I am going to put disable because it is he is a manager and doesn't need, maybe he does need, I don't know. Uh, pay type, here we have the hourly, we have the salary. For example, the salary of the uh, of the of Jack, which is the manager, I'm going to put the annual salary of, for example, 100,000. For example, this is just an example. Weekly hours, I'm going to put, for example, let's go ahead and say eight, uh, let's go and say 52 hours. This is the hourly rate of uh, Jack. This job cannot earn tips. You can go ahead and make here a tip eligible, which is up to you. You can add or assign another title or a job for Jack by clicking just right here, for example, manager. And let's get, go ahead and put, for example, supervisor, visor like that. This is the job. I'm going to disable the tip right here, the pay type. I'm going to put it, for example, hourly $10, like that. And you can go ahead and enable the overtime exempt. This team member is not exempt from overteam FLSA rules. You can go ahead and put it right here. Then you simply click on next. Here we have the access or the permissions uh, that we are going to assign to Jack. Manage what Jack can see and do across Square. Assigning a permission set also enables clocking in and out on Square point of sale. Here we have the permission set. You can go ahead and put uh, the permission for the uh, for Jack as a team permission. For example, one set like that. I'm going. Uh, this is uh, I have clicked on it. This is the 
uh, team permission, you can go ahead and exit that. Here we have the permission level, standard, enhanced, and full, for example. For the full, we have for the owners, co-owners, administrators, general manager. Here for the enhanced, we have the example for the employees that we can assign this, uh, the, the permission for lead cashier managers, which is a Jack profile, chef leads, front desk. And for the standard cashier baristas, front of house service providers. Simply click, you can go ahead and customize right here the permissions, as you can see, you can go ahead and give the full access to Jack or not, it is up to you. Now we have the checkout, which is active. We have the option or it is uh, able, uh, enabled to give the uh, payments or Jack can take payments, take a itemized payments. You can put or assign Jack for manual entry custom amounts, use virtual terminal. Now you can enable or disable those. Cancel transactions, no back to uh, or to back out of customer facing payment screen manually adjust tax during a transaction for example for discount apply restricted discounts and comps to a transaction you can go ahead and put this option to jack add a add customer to a sale transaction this is obliged cash management open cash drawer outside of a transaction here as a manager he can buy some supplies for the company for example you can allow uh, it or you uh, or you can forbid it it is up to you it is optional open tickets view all open tickets for individual team members view all open tickets for all team members and vice versa here th that was for the checkout we have the orders you can grant, grant access to view edit and cancel all open orders for the transactions, grant access to view completed sales transactions. This is for Jack. You can go ahead and give it, uh, give him all these permissions. House count, for example, this is uh, for uh, for managing the and the use of the house count. And now for the reports, it is up to you to uh, let Jack control some reports and modify them. Of course, visual visualize them. Here for the balance, it is not given the role, but here grant access to manage balance transfer and square debit card information. Now I will not allow that. Customer, right here we have to have some uh, grant access to create, view, edit, and delete customers' data, messages, items, online. Right here we have some online uh, permissions, payment links. You can set Jax to create and edit payment links. Create invoices, subscription, uh, here the shifts, uh, schedule and, and tips for assigned location. You have a lot of options that you can go ahead and permit Jack. Click on continue. Here we have the access point. Here we have a shared point of sale. Uh, here access square apps from a shared device. It is up to you to generate a code right here. I'm going to generate a code and the access uh, is shared with a device for the members. You can go ahead and put, and put a mobile point of sale and of course a dashboard. These are these three are enabled. I'm going to put, click on save for example. And here we have the permissions again. I'm going to put the enhanced here I'm going to click on save, generate the code again, click on save. This is the owner code. And here we have the permission set saved. We have the access, we have the location. We have also the access right here, permission set. You can go ahead and create a new permission set, but it is advanced access required. Uh, credentials, we have authorized representative. You can put a Jack as a authorized representative. Credentials, we have here the code. This is the personal code. These credentials allow this team member to use Square with the permission set up above. Click on next. For example, I'm going to generate first the code, then click on next. Here is the review. Click on here. We have the profile jobs access. You can review them. Click simply on done. And as you can see here, we have Jack, which is the manager and the supervisor. You can manage Jack uh, permissions right here after you have created them. You can put the schedule for 
the for jack right here you can uh, put a payroll or uh, make a payroll for jack here we have the hr and compliance it is up to you to choose whatever you want from the options here we have some announcements from reports and etc that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one